Let's go, man. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to brand new video. This is part three of our multi-part series where we restore and upgrade this vintage mountain bike from the 80s, the Renora mountain bike, to its fullest potential to a new bicycle basically. Yeah, would you please stay? like this just for a second for those who haven't seen the first and second part then be sure to check these out as you wouldn't believe how much we upgraded this bike so far already and how it looked before so definitely make sure that you watch the first and the second part before you watch this one just to uh, clarify what we're trying to do here i want the new mountain bike with a suspension fork and uh, with a steel frame and I didn't want to pay 2,000 euros or more. So I went for this Vinora mountain bike frame. It cost me 180 euros and it's still in very decent condition. We cleaned it already a little bit, but the goal is to be around the 600 euro mark. I will blend in the exact prices later in the video so you can roughly see how much it would cost to bring your old mountain bike back to life. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your old brakes, the cantilever brakes to some modern mechanical disc brakes or even hydraulic disc brakes if you wish so. And and for that you need a few parts of course you need the, the disc brake i went for the trp spikes so these are mechanical disc brakes very nice and it also comes with two disc rotors and i already installed the new rotors which look incredibly good uh, here are the old ones i can show you these they look really rusty but that's not the important part the important part to make these works are one or even two adapters and I uh, found this on Amazon, probably you can find this somewhere else from different uh, brands. So I guess they make them in China, but this is how it looks like. Maybe I can just open it. Yeah. So this is the adapter which allows you to convert your cantilever brakes to disc brakes at the rear. So at the front, it's not really a problem. As you can see, I just put a new fork in, a suspension fork. I got rid of the rigid steel fork that was on there. And you can see it has mounts for cantilevers, but also for disc brakes. And it's a post mount, so it should be quite easy to get these, well, to get these TRP spikes on there. Yeah. So this will just go on, no problem. So how does it work, this adapter here? It's secured on the frame in two ways. And you can see at the back, I already mounted it. So I ordered two of these to experiment with them. And I also hacked them in a few different ways to uh, make them even better. These are IS-2000. And uh, if you want to put a post mount brake on it, like I'm doing, then you need another adapter like this one. This is from uh, Shimano. So basically it sits on the frame like this. On this part, it will just clamp between the axle and the frame, as you can see there. And the other part goes around the frame here. And uh, yeah, I altered it a little bit because, um, yeah, the way it is, it's not that useful, I think. So first thing I altered is I put some rubber in between uh, this little part here so that my frame doesn't get damaged and scratched. The other thing is, which I don't really like about this, I mean, it only costs 10 euros, so what would you expect? But the other thing I don't really like is these two screws, there are now screw nuts on it. So what I did, I also put some screw nuts, like two screw nuts here to make this work so that it doesn't fall off. The other hack that we did is we drilled out this a little bit more because I test fitted it already. I just had to make sure that everything works before the video. So I drilled out this a little bit more so that it will sit a little bit lower so that the disc brakes can bite more into the disc. Before I did that, the disc would go through, but only like, I don't know, a centimeter or something. And uh, now that I drilled this out a little bit more, it will sit on very nicely. All right, so much waffling already. Let's get on with it, shall we? So all we have to do is get the rear wheel in and uh, make sure that this part is clamped between the axle and the frame so that it is nice and secure and then yeah just get the rear wheel in put the spikes on and uh, put the cables on and then uh, we're done so that's what we're going to do today and uh, yeah i wish you a lot of fun watching and i will catch you when it's done
finally it's in. Jesus Christ. So it's a bit fiddly. Good, huh? Go, man. 